38 new cases of COVID-19 reported from the state, taking the total number of positive cases to 451. 18 cases are reported from Jakama Quarantine Center and 17 from Twensang Quarantine Centers. A single-day spike of 19,459 COVID-19 cases takes India's tally to 5,48,318 today, while the death toll climbed to 16,475. And the worldwide number of coronavirus infections crossed 10 million with fears growing of a full-blown second wave. United States is the hardest hit country with more than 2.5 million cases. Well, hello and welcome to this news broadcast from News and Trends. We begin this bulletin by taking a look at the COVID-19 update from Nagaland. The COVID-19 total tally of Nagaland increased to 434 this morning with 19 new positive cases. The new cases include one from Perrin Quarantine Center while the rest were reported from Jakama. Probably the army cantonment where first cases were reported last week. Nagaland Health and Family Welfare Minister S. Pangyi Pom in his tweet this morning informed that 19 new cases of COVID-19 positive have been reported out of 322 samples tested, 18 from Jakama Quarantine Centre and 1 from Perrin Quarantine Centre. In another tweet this evening, the health minister informed that 17 fresh positive cases of COVID-19 have been detected in Twensang Quarantine Centre. The minister also tweeted in the afternoon to inform that four more COVID positive patients have recovered, three from Dimapur and one from Kohima. As per the update, till late evening, there were a total of 451 total cases, out of which 283 were active while 168 were officially designated as recovered. The state is yet to report any death resulting from the COVID-19 pandemic. Meanwhile, Nagaland government has issued an order stating that the existing guidelines with regard to the lockdown in all parts of the state issued on May 4, 2020, subject to relaxations issued on 10th June 2020 regarding opening of religious places, places of worship for public, and through its order on 20th June 2020 regarding plying of local taxis and auto rickshaws in the border subdivisions, shall continue to remain operative in Nagaland till 15th June 2020. This was stated in an order issued by the Chief Secretary in Nagaland. Now, self-discipline and self-responsibility in compliance of safety protocols among the returnees have proved to be productive with nil COVID-19 positive cases in the districts of Longlin, Mokokchung, Woka and Kifri till today. While there have been numerous reports of unruly, indifferent and insensitive behaviour demonstrated by the returnees in the quarantine centres in other districts, returnees from these districts, however, seem to have shown the way of how responsibility and self-discipline can protect themselves and the whole community. Media reports quoting health officials said that except for these four districts, all other districts have reported COVID-19 positive cases from among the returnees. The officials have attributed the spike among the returnees to carelessness and disregard to the safety protocols, risking the lives of frontline workers and others who are taking care of them. In Longlin, health officials and frontline workers are working in close coordination to ensure that the district is COVID-19 free. We have this video released by DIPR on how Longland is doing to fight the pandemic. ...to help us to extend their support in their various capacities since day one. I, on behalf of the district administration Longland and uh, the district task force, would like to appeal the people, the public, to continue and extend your fullest cooperation to the frontline workers so that together we will overcome this crisis. We are so privileged to work here in Longlin District. We are doing our best. We are doing what is required for the people of Longlin District. And we hope what we are supposed to achieve, we are achieving in the line of patient management. Since this is a new disease, Aro, Mohan doctor, healthcare workers, frontline workers, can in way, public can be to understand, Mutopachi Kurubali, it will be important to say. 
আজি ডক্টর আর নার্স খান আর বলিস খান জেফ খান মিলি গে না বুঝি গান ঠেক পুরা আমা কান্তি ক অপারেশন থাকি গে না মন ডর হয়ে গানা ঘুরে আছে আর গাও মনকে বি বেশি গেছে বা আছে ব্রয়লার বরা আমা কান কি কয়েছ মানে গে না দিয়ে থাকে আর বি আহা দিন নেমে দেবি ওয়েলেস কার্ড নেমে দি ঘরের মন ভরা মতাব করবো কে না আমা কান্তি বেশি মন ডর করে না খুব করে না টিউ দি করব কে না থাকি আছে আর ঘরের মন ভরা ট্রেনিং দিয়া নিচিনা মানো মানো মাজুতে ডেস্ট আমা কান থাকি আছে বেশি কান্ত্র ভরা নার্স ডাক্তার আমা কান বলিস কানবি ইটু ভরা পাবলিক খানবি এনেকা থাকি লাগে আর আমা কানকে বি এনেকা মদাব করে না আমা কান একই এটু বিমার দো রুখাই দিব রে মন ডর করবো যদি মোকান লংলিং টি মোকান পুলিশ ওমেন কান কোভিড নাইনটিন লাটু টি করে আছে আর মোকান ইটু ওমেন পুলিশ কান মোকান মাইকি আছে এনেকা হয়ে গে না মোকান বি ওমেন পুলিশ কান বি মোকান ইত্যা বি মোকান বি মোটা কানি এনেকা লকডাউন লাটু টি করে আছে এটু নিচিনা মোকান বি বাকি কান বি ছুটি আছে লংলিং তে আর মোকান যাতে লংলিং পুলিশ কান মোকান কোভিড নাইনটিন লাটু টি করা দাম দিয়ে পাবলিক পুরা আর কোন হইলেবে ফ্যামিলি কাম হইলেবে মোকান পুলিশ আর মেডিকেল টিম কানকে মোকানকে সাপোর্ট করে গে না এনেকা মোকান কাম তো চাইছো বললে তো কোভিড নাইনটিন আর মোকান ইটু করোনা ভাইরাস তো মোকান সবকে ইটু হাতাব পারে with whatever resource we have and therefore i request all the people of longlin district to cooperate with us to fight this pandemic together mohan quarantine center de bi duty jai do man kida quarantine center de duty jai jai she ko le do man duty two weeks ni mede duty jai she ko le do man khode bi wapas ne jai kile mane mai ki bacha laga safety ni mede man khode bi ne jai na ida do duty jaga de khomai na jadi khai gena ena ga duty A single day spike of 19,459 COVID-19 cases took India's tally to 5,48,318 today, while the death toll has climbed to 16,475 according to the Union Health Ministry data. The country has seen a surge of 3,57,783 infections from June 1 till date. The number of active cases stands at 2,10,120 while 321,722 people have recovered and one patient has migrated according to the updated data. Thus around 58.67% of patients have recovered so far an official said. Maharashtra has reported the highest number of cases followed by Delhi, Tamil Nadu, Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan and West Bengal according to the ministry data. In the northeast Assam has reported 7206 cases of the pathogen a total of 1346 cases have been reported from Tripura Manipur has 1185 covid-19 cases Mizoram has 148 Arunachal Pradesh has 182 Meghalaya 47 and Sikkim has reported 88 cases till now Manipur Chief Minister N. Birin Singh announced that the state government has decided to extend the lockdown for another 15 days with effect from 1st July 2020. Speaking to media persons at Imphal, Chief Minister said that the government has also decided the opening of inter-district bus service from 1st July 2020 by maintaining SOPs and guidelines issued by the government. No other public transport system will be allowed during this period. Singh said the testing capacity has been increased to nearly 2600 tests per day in the state. The chief minister said that apart from the existing 700 beds reserved for COVID-19 at present, the state government is working to add another 750 additional beds. He also clarified there is no case of community transmission of the disease in Manipur till date. In the last 24 hours 23 COVID-19 patients were discharged from different hospitals in Manipur after they were found COVID-19 free. The recovery rate increased to 38.39%. The total recovered cases in Manipur are 455. The worldwide number of recorded infections is now just over 10 million from the virus that first emerged in China late last year with fears growing of a full-blown second wave. The rate of contagion has doubled since May 
One million new infections were recorded in just six days, according to AFP news agency, even as some countries loosen punishing lockdowns that have devastated their economies and thrown millions out of work. United States, the hardest hit country, has more than 2.5 million cases alone, and efforts to reopen the world's biggest economy have been set back by a jump in new infections in big states like Florida and California. The total number of global coronavirus has increased to 1 crore 1,37,159, while the death toll has reached 5,1661, according to the John Hopkins University, with 25,48,991 confirmed cases and 1,25,803 deaths. The United States currently accounts for the highest number of infections and fatalities in the world. Brazil comes in the second place with 13,44,143 infections and 57,622 deaths. The other countries with over 10,000 deaths are UK, Italy, France, Spain, Mexico and India. The Koima District Task Force held a meeting at DC's office chamber today which was chaired by DC and Chairman DTF Gregory Tejawile. According to DIPR, the meeting took up various issues in regard to COVID-19 related activities and safety protocols and measures undertaken at different locations. The chairman conveyed the decision of the cabinet meeting in regard to extension of lockdown till July 15, 2020 in the state and further informed that the present lockdown measures in the district will continue, which will be notified. CMO Dr. Vezokolu informed the members that the medical team stationed inside the containment zone at Upper PWT has till date covered 97 houses by obtaining all the necessary safety protocols for the safety of the colony people. The meeting also recommended for release of returnees from Kohima, Zinaboto, Mogokchong, Fek, Twensang, Woka, Kifri, Longlen and from paid quarantine hotel to chief secretary for further approval. The Twensang District Task Force for COVID-19 held a meeting at DC's Conference Hall Twensang under the chairmanship of Kumar Ramnikant, Deputy Commissioner and Chairman DTF Twensang. According to DIPR, the meeting agreed to redesignate Sao Chang College Quarantine Center to a dedicated COVID care center wherein asymptomatic COVID-19 positive cases will be admitted and managed. Sao Chang College will cease to function as a quarantine center. The Government Industrial Training Center has been designated to quarantine male returnees who are untested for COVID-19, while untested female returnees will be quarantined at St. John Higher Secondary School. The meeting also decided on the shortages of ambulances at PHC Longpang. As the PHC is looking after the general OPD of the district, there is an urgent need for an ambulance. The meeting agreed to apprise the government on the matter. A total of 80 inmates, including three drivers, were discharged from RUSA Quarantine Center Yingli and Yingli Quarantine Center Longland for home quarantine today after completion of 21 days institutional quarantine. The result of the discharge inmates tested negative. The discharge inmates were mostly from Bangalore. All necessary instructions and advice were given by the doctors before they were released. That's all we have time for in this edition of news broadcast. But before we leave you, here's a reminder that you can send in your videos at the WhatsApp number flashed below and be part of this venture of being a citizen journalist. Do let us know what's happening in your village, your town, your district or your locality so that we can share your videos with the rest of the viewers watching this broadcast. Meanwhile, stay safe, practice safe health hygiene and maintain social distancing wherever you are. But most importantly, take good care of yourself. Thanks for watching.